Hello guys and welcome to episode 125 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Von Karsteins on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be taking Iron Frost with Isabella in the next turn. Um, we will also be taking the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. They actually stopped Vlad in his tracks but it seems as though Milland is in position to attack it and he is in range so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just level up his Necromancer first. Put it towards specialist. And off we go. I think we're gonna fight this one on the battle map. Let's go. I'm just worried that if I auto resolve, it's gonna kill off some of my high rank units, and I don't want that to happen. Probably just gonna make this a relatively quick one. We won't spend too much time organizing the troops. From Gamble, that was only on 11. Did pay off. Good. Move the Blood Knights to the corner. And that's pretty much it. Start the deployment, start the battle. Off we go. Just gonna look for those breath attacks. Uh, I should probably start invocating whichever units get attacked. Right, hopefully, these terror guys kind of like crossfire each other. Uh, it looks like my lord kind of put his in a bit of a weird position. Oh well. In we go. Eat up those dark shards, please. Keep those invocations going. my men as healthy as possible. That's the plan. It looks like these Blackout Corsairs, for whatever reason, have decided to come off the walls. Maybe because we're attacking the gate. That might be why. Uh, let's take off. I'm going to put a breath attack into some more units. Okay, well that just completely whiffed. Okay, let's just finish off the guys on the walls. Do some more invocations onto the low health units.
Right, let's just attack these horses. Right, gates are destroyed. Let's come on in. And I think I have my blood knight start running in this direction as well. Just speeds things up. Let's put the breath attack into these Black Art Corsairs, poor chaps. And we'll dive down into the Witch Elves. Well, that should be victory soon. gonna have my lord go and attack the black arc corsairs actually there's witch elves over there and we'll have the terror guys go and attack the dark riders with repeater crossbows uh, whilst the rest of my units attack the death hag here and we can do a nice invocation That is victory. Invocation's already done. We'll just speed it up and end the battle. We actually probably didn't even need to bother with invocations because we're going to have plenty of time to replenish anyway since we're going to be walking all the way back from the Dark Elf lands towards the Wood Elves and the Blue Vipers. The reason I'm probably going to end up at war with the wood elves sooner than later is because the blue vipers i don't want like half of the territory it'd be really awkward so i just want it all the nights are long here let's occupy that thank you very much and what we'll do maybe build this the altar of ultimate darkness extra five percent tax rate faction wide don't mind if i do and this one we'll just build the gibbet. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Very nice, unique building. 5% tax rate, faction wide. I wonder how much that's going to increase our income. Because our taxes are 16,000. 161,000, sorry. Wow, it's going to be a lot. Be like another 8k? Something like that. Alright, let's just go through this. I think it's uh, a good idea for him to stay where he is, because we'll probably just go and take Skeggy when we end up declaring. I just find it really sad that like we have so many armies, but there aren't really many that are actually doing much. <laughs> There's a Palace of Ruin. Oh, it's all the way up here. They will serve. Yeah, Melon's already moved. We have Oswald. To defile. He's continuing to head down. We've got Bethilda. It's fine for now. Unless there's some somebody specific we want to get rid of. Maybe this death hag. Can Bethilda spread vampiric corruption. I don't think so. If she could, that would be really good. I guess she'll just start heading down south towards the Blue Vipers then. So I don't think I'll need her up north soon with all of the Dark Elves dead. I will alone. 
Right, his army is basically fully replenished. Uh, let's head upwards. And that way we can meet up with the Necromancer. I'm going to boot these guys. So that I can give him the order. That positive yet? Nope. Over here, let's continue to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade this to level 3 first, the Bay of Blades, because then I can get the, the gibbet in here as well. We have both the gibbet and the Balefire Brazier in all of the settlements. You know, there would be no other benefit to upgrading Sal Encampment just yet. Tazing's Conclave, Gibbet and Balefire Brazier, please. Good. Yeah, I just keep end up ending up clicking on the same blimmin' armies because none of them can do anything. Um, so yeah, we'll just skip most of the turns. We'll skip the hero move. Uh, we got the commandment here that we can do. The plus five tax rate in Nagaron's great. Let's now upgrade Ashrek. And it's fine. Upgrade Spike Reach. May as well upgrade this in Harganeth. We'll get the walls up. Well then, let's upgrade that. And this Phoenix Gate we're going to ignore. We've got more heroes to ignore. Upgrade that and Barakvar. And that's everything. Okay. There are no more settlements that we need to upgrade. Really? We got actually got there already? I guess it is 70,000, but still. Yeah, maybe we should start building those new armies. I do need to check out Nuln, though. Because that's where I want to build the Blood Knights from now on. We're going to get the Terrorgeist from Western Sylvania and then most of the Brave Guard from Eastern Sylvania. So there'll be like a path, I guess, of like multiple armies heading down. I'm probably just going to get a bunch of vampires, like a vampire lords, because they all upgrade into zombie dragons. And I think I prefer zombie dragons to the, the Terrorgeist. Also, the lore of magic that the vampires can get is, is very useful. Like the level 2 invocations. They don't have to have like a bunch of vampires with them. And the vampire heroes, that is. Right, damage wall success at Hagreif. Don't really care about that. We've got Bray Herds come. Uh, block army success. Is that again? Well, oh, they couldn't do it twice in a row. Well, that's some bullshit. Doesn't matter anyway. We're going to wipe out the Dark Elves. Let's smash Iron Frost. Let's go. So, Marathi is defending it. We've got the Settlement Garrison, and then there's Scorpia Head Reaper. Right, on the battle map. End of an era for the Dark Elves, for sure. Uh, we will have to wipe out that last army 
off to the side in order to destroy them completely, which is kind of annoying, but um, otherwise we're okay. Now let's just move the units over to one side again. I don't think the reinforcements coming in are as strong this side this time, but uh, we'll still crush them. It's actually a couple of decent things, like the Reaper Bolt Thrower and the Dark Shards. Getting rid of those is actually really nice. Let's just kill off the Supreme Sorceress as well. We'll have the rest of the guys start walking over here. Well, that's them dealt with. Okay, that's our entire army moving. We've taken out Scorpia. Let's just carry on. And we'll speed it up so that our men get in position. See, this is where I wish I had Wind of Death, because I could just Wind of Death across their lines. Why have these guys stopped moving? That's really weird. Maybe they got distracted by Scorpio. Okay. Uh, let's just get the infantry into a group. We'll start moving forwards. What is this formation that they're doing? Very strange. I would just lock it and charge. And I'm probably just gonna try and flank them with the Blood Knights. Get my lords to attack Marathi. That is fine. I'm gonna have one of my blood knights charge after the Dark Riders. Alright, all good. Uh, let's just put down the re in the uh, invocation there. That's good. These guys are fine. I'll just come down in behind them. Is Marathi dead yet? Nearly. Right, I do need to make sure that these aren't just standing there taking damage. Ooh, that unit's getting wrecked. Whoops. just invocate on that side and we'll move them away right, let's just use the immortal will on these guys Gonna use a fate of Buna on the Black Art Corsairs there. That's fine. Let's just crush the Sisters of Slaughter. Where are these Blood Knights? They are over here. Let's just pull them out. And that infantry is taking a lot of damage. 
I didn't actually expect to take as much damage as this in the fight, but it doesn't really matter. I'm being extremely careless as it is. I just want to win ASAP. Uh, it looks like we have done. It's amazing how evenly the infantry actually got damaged. But we will make sure to invocate them a little bit. We'll leave it there. Okay. So Scorpio, I think, escapes because her army was not part of the garrison. But Marathi's dead again. Probably for the final time. And Iron Frost is ours. Good. Some serious public order issues though. <laughs> Mainly due to the lack of vampiric corruption. Yeah, both of those armies are now taking attrition since they are the last remaining in their faction. Thomas Gorst has leveled up. Continue with Deadly Blade. In a while since I leveled him up. We'll go for the Vampire Keep there. That's fine. Let's have a look at Nolm. It's two turns away. Okay. Alright, over to Warmond. The Ziggurat has finished. It's upgrade, so we'll go for the Shady Township. This unique building, the Beacon of Dawn. Unit experience gain per turn for local armies plus 200. Vampiric corruption plus 10. Recruit rank plus 2 for Ken raids and Hex raids units. It's actually not that good. I mean, the plus 10 vampiric corruption would have been great had I taken over the settlement first. But otherwise, it's kind of trash. So we'll just go for a dip it here. Push that public order. Actually, maybe we should go for the Balefire Brazier first. Nah, I'm not going to bother. Alright, Vlad's not going anywhere with the block. Um, Minerad can have Oswald join him again. And I'm tempted to just start the attack onto these guys. Just they do have an army here, which is kind of awkward. I could do quite a bit of damage against our minor settlements since they don't have walls yet. Hmm. I think I'll just wait because as soon as the Dark Elves are dead, they'll probably go home. And when they go home, that's when we can pounce on them. Where are we going with Milland? Is he in range to attack this army? He is. Go do that. Alright, that's one down. Oh, I didn't actually kill her. Well, we'll take Immortal Horror. That extra casualty replacement rate for Lords means I can take a bit more damage and get the health back quicker. That is fine. Alright, Bernard being here is, is really starting to annoy me. What do you want? Let's move him to Ice Drake Ford or even over to like Longship Graveyard. We'll go towards Ice Drake Ford on the ground. At least then he's going to be in the province. Doesn't actually change the public order at all. Alright, what about Ludiger? Currently plus five at Sol Encampment. 
minus six at the mountains of hell. Oh, it's just so annoying. Yeah, we need more armies. I'm probably just going to build more armies. Just I don't want to build them up north. Let's start building them at Castle Drakenhof. Then nowhere where we can recruit them at higher rank, because this is ridiculous. Like, level 1, level 6. And the level 1 guys are the ones we already have. Um, got a Weapon Master. Dread Incarnate. Let's just go for this guy. And he can start recruiting. We're just going to go three of each. Then maybe Mortis Engine Vargolf. Then we're going to have six Blood Knights. That will take us up to 15. I want two Terror Geists. That'll be 18. Go for another Vargolf. Maybe some Vargeists. Yep. Alright, as for leveling them up, Aura of Supremacy, the rest is dead, Hunger, Invocation, Upgrade. That'll do. I think that'll be alright. Yeah, six would take us to seventeen, and then two terror geists. Maybe we can just have a vampire there as well, just to help with vampiric corruption spread when we're taking stuff over. I will alone. Yeah. Be important. And we could also build another army. Actually, thinking about it, we'll build one at. Western Sylvania at the same time. We'll take this other guy, Siegfried Barakmir. And he can recruit the Terrorgeists and the Vargeists here. Since that's going to take three turns, yep. That's going to work out quite well. Uh, we can skip that one. Here are not moved. We can skip these. Commandment available. Let's make sure we put that towards repressed mortals. I'm just going to upgrade this Phoenix Gate because I can't be bothered to keep seeing that. And then we have Mine Red here who is just going to be chilling for this turn. So we'll ignore him. Is that everything? Looks to be. Bring me yeah, let's move on with Milland. Head towards the frozen city. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so the other thing I'm thinking of doing is... Um, Creating another army of skeletons and stuff that can colonize the other couple settlements in Norska. Undeath Ascendant. Welcome. They actually don't mind us at the moment. Even though I'm spreading vampiric corruption in their lands, it doesn't affect the diplomatic rating. I didn't know that. I thought like spreading it purposefully in their lands was a cause for war, but I guess we're just going to have to start trespassing. So we'll ha in order to trespass, we'll have to get rid of military access and maybe the defensive alliance.
maybe just military access. Alright, that's an auto resolve. Is the other army going to suicide? No. We're nearly there though. We're nearly going to destroy the Dark Elves. Let's just go over here and do it. Iron Frost Glacier is going to rebel. We've already got all of the buildings that will help with public order. Gibbet, Balefire Brazier and the Vampire Grips. I might just build the Awakened Battlefield just because. Alright, that is it. Dark Elves defeated. All the pleasure destroyed. Oh, beautiful. What a relief. They are gone for good. No more stupid assassins. It's cleaned up the map nicely. So now we're going to bring Millen back down towards the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. And we're going to try and take out Cobalt Knucklebreaker. So Vlad and yeah, Millen can take care of them. Isabella's going to stay up here and deal with the Rebellion. Uh, we can have Milland here take the Frozen City. Let's do that. Good. Yeah, Vlad will stay here. Um, Isabella's staying where she is. Warmond is just chilling. Actually, let's go and put him in, into the lands of the Wood Elves, and we will start raiding. And what I'm going to do is get rid of our defensive alliance, or maybe military access. Cancel military access. And that way, when we're in their territory, they hate us. And we'll do the same with County Wald. And go in their lands and start raiding. It's actually going to reduce the public order as well. We've actually got to the point where we're reducing the public order of the AI, even though they get a plus eight d difficulty. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Right, let's make sure Zarek still has walls. That's probably a good idea. And what else could I get here? The Balefire Braze is probably a decent shout. That Winter Pyre, we can build the Balefire Braze now. That's good. Like a fiery plane, we can build something. Let's get uh, Bernard to head towards Longship Graveyard. And I think, honestly, I might have Rudiger go towards Doomkeep. This turn. Take that, and then we'll head back to Acing's Conclave with, like, March Stance. Orca Bachman has leveled up. All of his spells are done, so we'll just continue as specialist. Malsar has got plus four public order here now. Let's start running him towards the Palace of Ruin. Well, it's going to be minus six, but I think he'll get to that other settlement before it pops, so that's fine. Let's be 
important. And the settlement that Bernard left, which was Pack Ice Bay, should be fine. But I'm thinking I'm just going to have to like re recruit a lord here. Just because. And let's just grab another Master Necromancer. Put him in the settlement and grab some dudes. We go Thrall Master as well. I guess it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll just go for Invocation upgrade. Okay. That's taking us down to 55,000. Our additional upkeep from having extra armies is now 217,000 a turn, which is crazy. But at least we're, you know, building up more armies. It's always good. Unfortunately, though, that has been my time. I am going to leave it here. Now we've got to decide what we want to do next. As the armies start falling south, we will probably end up at war with the Wood Elves. But until then, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.